Yo, okay. That's working. Uh, we are live on the uh, Apple floor. Let's like flip this. Uh, let me see. All right, that's annoying. Uh, there we go. We're live. Uh, I am standing in front of that brand new cheese grater iMac, not iMac Pro, Mac Pro. And uh, I'm gonna flip it right now, but I just wanna say what's up. This thing is crazy. So, there's the, the callback to the cheese grater. It's kind of close to the size of that old Mac Pro. I'm not gonna, definitely much bigger than the, uh, the trash can Mac Pro. But uh, this thing is ridiculous. This definitely stole the show today. Up to 28 cores. I don't even know how 1.5 terabytes of RAM is possible, but this thing is nuts and equally as nuts is the uh, 32 inch 6K Apple display, uh, which is, that's the $1,000 stand. So just wanted to uh, say what's up real quick. There's gonna be a more detailed hands-on with the Mac Pro later. So if you guys have comments, uh, questions on it, drop them down below and I'll make sure to include that in the video later. Right now I'm just trying to get through this madness. So they got this insane, uh, I know if Drew's photo is watching this, they got this insane photo setup over here that I'll take you guys with. They're basically feeding shots from the camera uh, directly to that 6K display. So, like I said on Twitter, that is the most expensive IGTV editing monitor you will ever see. So they got that, they got this sweet iPad set up. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. Taking photos, feeding those wirelessly, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, look at this closer up. It would be awesome to look inside there but it's like impossible to see right now but that monitor is super bright like bright is all hell like those are some serious uh cheese grater holes they're definitely not gonna let us touch right now but they got the handles up top the wheels are not on here right now. And if you guys are just tuning in right now, yeah, this thing is starts at $59.99. That's for the tower only. But again, it goes up to a ridiculous 28 cores, 1.5 terabytes of RAM, PCI up to, you know what. Yo, Travis, what's going on? That is definitely beast mode. Now, they got two monitors hooked up. These are two 6K monitors, but this will go or support up to six, which is ridiculous. So two of those will work with the MacBook Pro. Got a wild Carl Conrad sighting. A wild one, what's going on, buddy? Yo, how's it going? Good, how are you? Uh, can we flip that? There we go. What's up? Yo, what do you think of the Mac Pro? Sexy, man. <laughs> pricey yeah you I know. gotta like sell yourself a couple times over and I, over i think the craziest thing was the thousand dollars for the for the stand for the stand yeah so if you want like a six like i guess like display setup that's six thousand just on stands. yeah jesus so thirty two thousand dollars for a six six k displays i expect that on a dream set yeah i know <laughs> i'm gonna let him film right now so go check out his channel later for his coverage Uh, temperatures, we don't know temperatures right now, but uh, hopefully they ship it by fall. Can it run Tetris? I think so. I hope so. Oh man. Yo, 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 yo. In case you want to see something cooler than the Mac Pro, that's Carl Conrad's setup, gimbling it up. Yeah, 1.5 terabytes of RAM. Oh yeah, uh, someone pointed out the keyboard color. That's like a different space gray. Is that a... Is that like a matte black keyboard? Oh. I think it is. Yo, so they got... 
This is definitely a lighter shade of space gray, but they got a matte black. It almost looks like a D-brand skin. <laughs> it kind of does, eh? Yeah. Uh, Ariel, it has AMD graphics, so NVIDIA is not very happy with that, but it was like a ridiculous amount of AMD Vega. Like, you can two times the duo. Yeah, that's the MKBHD edition mouse <laughs> trackpad. I don't know if they're going to let me touch it. But there's the two 6K displays. Again, if you're just tuning in, uh, two of these will work with the Mac MacBook Pros, and six of them will work with the Mac Pro. I'm not gonna lie. When they uh, when they dropped the Mac Pro announcement earlier and they showed that on the screen, did you feel like it was a joke? Like they were, yeah. I like they were just trolling. I thought there'd be something like, what's next? Yeah, like, like this is our prototype. Yeah. Like that looks like uh, there's a, oh my God. Cheese grape. Yeah, but who does all the renders? There's like uh, all those render concepts you see. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks just like all those 3D render concepts you would see. Yeah, yeah. But there it is, man. You gotta get the one with the wheels though. So I know, can, uh, wheels are only like six grand. You could like sit on it and wheel around. You know, just like, like pump away and just like. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to curl that thing. <laughs> it's got the two bars for you. That's true. Nick, imagine a two of those set up on the end of a barbell and you're <laughs> Yeah, so uh, for asking about the price right now, the display itself is forty nine ninety nine. The freaking stand is a grand, which is probably the craziest part. I, I wanna see what's the, this is the thousand dollar stand right here. I was calling it the Pro Display XDR, which is their name for Extreme HDR. In all seriousness, like the price of the stand is a little crazy, but the monitor's sick. So, when you pay five grand for the monitor, that's just for the monitor. Stand is not included. I think the vase amount was two hundred bucks, so that's the cheapest option, but. About to fall through the wall right now. But it's a thick. I don't know about three C's, but it's at least two C's. How many C's is that? At least two. I think there's enough RAM to run Chrome, Brandon. You'll be good. So Travis M, Travis M says uh, three C's. I say that's a solid two C's. That's like, no, that's thinner than the, the LG one. Finally, no bezel or very minimal bezel. I'm gonna walk around. Uh, for reference, here's that 32-inch display stacked up side by side against the iMac Pro. It makes it look baby. Uh, they got 6K footage playing in there, which I assume is playing on the display, right? Yes, that's okay. a 6K video. This is the time lapse of all the photos that were added. Got it. So this Pro. is the iMac Pro hooked up to the 6K exactly. display. Exactly. Gotcha. Yes. Cool, so for clarification, that is the 6K display hooked up to that iMac Pro, so it's weird. It almost makes that look like a 21-inch iMac, but that is a massive, yeah, no, it's a massive display, like Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, so it's not OLED, it's LCD, but HDR built in. It's just a, it's a crazy setup. And again, that's uh, two of them set up. That's crazy, that is a ridiculous setup. I'm gonna get a, I think I got a closer look over here. See if we can get inside. Look at that glisten. I need to see if there's one open somewhere, but damn, that's like some 
serious, serious holes. Man, that's crazy. So, that's been it right now. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get, you know, some more focused and organized footage of the Mac Pro. There's definitely a few more crazy rooms. Like, Apple knows how to set up a lighting setup. Uh, they got, I'm gonna kinda walk over here with you guys right now. Oh, there's more Mac Pro stuff over there. Oh, they got a ridiculous setup here. Looks like they got the uh, Kira robot over here. Hey, yo, how's it going? Hey, how are you? We got some live motorized precision action going on right now. What are you guys? What are you guys doing here? So this was the AK capture. Okay. So there's an unreleased Canon AK camera over there. Okay. Uh, and we used uh, the Shoguns okay. to record AK ProRes RAW okay. for the first time. Nice. Uh, and we captured all the footage on the Mio robot. Okay. So we can get repeatable moves and have all the data for post. Sent it over to Motion and okay. they created a project over there. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Nice. So you guys, uh, in addition to Mac Pros, there's an unreleased AK Canon camera right there. Mio robot. Pretty ridiculous. All right, that's going on Canon rumors right there. Someone's gonna rip this footage. I'll release 8K Canon camera in action. So they use this to capture the 8K ProRes RAW. That's crazy. And then that ends up here. Yes, this is actually the capture uh, from that same camera and robot here. We can key out the green screen so you can see I can uh, flip back over to the green screen. Okay. But we can key out the green, add in color, and while playing back in 8K in real time, add in the 3D elements in the background and in the foreground that make up the entry title to our documentary project. Oh, wow. While keeping the whole uh, workflow in 8K, import that into our final cut station over there uh, so it can actually be part of the documentary. Uh, wow. We're working here within a new version of Motion. Uh, okay, today. so this, is, uh, this was just announced today, Motion? Yeah, this is a new update to Motion. Okay, uh, sick. today, available this fall, um, but operating here on the iMac Pro, um, operating in uh, you know one stream of 8K. Uh, so the ProRes RAW is within Motion, like that's all within there? I mean, yeah, this is, uh, this is actually uh, 8K uh, 444, ProRes 444, so it's actually okay. um, uh, working in that different color space, but then uh, importing into the Final Cut project there, which I'm ready to ProRes Okay, RAW. awesome, yeah. sick. So just in case you guys missed that, that was how they captured it uh, on the Mia robot for motorized precision. That is capturing that dude. So they got the green skin so they can key everything out. And then that again is going back into motion. And then they key it out at the background and that's that crazy 8K. Well, it's not a render, that's the thing though. So it's, yeah, real a, time. That's a real thing. So that's uh, crazy. All right, I got my, oh, Final Cut. I was gonna end the stream right now, but I just found the uh, Final Cut station right now. I'm gonna say hi right now, because this is three monitors. So that's like the triple monitor Mac Pro action. Mac Pro, triple monitors, again, this will support up to six of those. God, it's massive. That is crazy. I'm gonna loop you guys around there. Yeah. That's how. Yeah. Well, oh, it'll it'll make it to us at some point. Yeah, we'll be right. rendering it or modeling it or whatever. That's right. We'll make it to Yeah, for sure. What's your name? Judd. Judd. Eric. Nice to meet you. Yeah. For sure. Yo, how's it going? Hey. Man, I'm gonna keep around. Yes. Yes. Very good. How are you doing? Good. I'm uh, streaming. Saying hi to Judd over here at Final Cut. <laughs> what do we got? Go I'm glad you could make it. So this uh, this right here is new version of Final Cut Pro, optimized for the new Mac Pro and the new Pro Display. 
we have Afterburner installed, which means that we are accelerating 8K ProRes okay. and 8K ProRes RAW. Got it. And as you can see, we have three 6K displays attached. So we have our browser on one 6K display, we have our viewer and our timeline on the second 6K display, and then we have an HDR reference monitor as a third okay. 6K display through AD Output and Final Cut Pro. Got it. And uh, we're playing back graphics, we're playing back animated titles, color correction effects, right. all on top of AK Video, no rendering, no yeah. processing, all in real time. So is the the afterburner that's on top of the GPU? How does that work yeah, that's exactly? That's a good question. So afterburner is that I was also supposed to do this, and the way it's set up right now is that the ProRes and ProRes RAW decoding is offloaded to the afterburner. Okay. So instead of doing that work, say on the CPU, for example, it happens on the afterburner, which is made to handle those workflows, which frees up the rest of the system for all the other things you're doing in post production. Got it. So it's an optional card. Got it. Afterburner card. Um, but for video workflows that use ProRes and ProRes RAW, it's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing addition. So this is 8K, right? Yeah. This is all 8K. So yeah, you can see. Project. 8K at 2997, and this is real 8K. So if I come down here, okay. select this clip for example. This is not, you know, kind of quad 4K. This is 8192 by 4320. So 8, okay. almost 8,200 pixels across. DCI pixels. 8K. It's a lot of over 33 million pixels in every frame. Yeah, that's crazy. So, so and then you, well, you saw this. Um, in, uh, in the keynote, but you know, with Afterburner installed, because we can accelerate ProRes decode, this is one stream of AK ProRes RAW with okay. color correction and animation, two streams of AK ProRes RAW, real time color correction applied, three streams of 8K ProRes RAW, over 100 million pixels okay. pushed through the system. Yeah, so if you guys missed that, that was three streams simultaneously hitting you with AK ProRes RAW. That's right. That's right. And that's uh, full quality too, or is that? Exactly right. So I come over here to my view menu, full quality, optimize originals. Cool. So you're putting the original source yeah. footage through the system. This is not a, a proxy workflow or a lower resolution version. Yeah. And you can see, I mean, what's, what's incredible is when you come over here, some of the detail that's in 8K, um, one, it's just the the high resolution allows you to see detail or to crop in, right? So right. I can come in and say if I wanted this to be a 4K frame, I could zoom in and get a 4K image out of this pixel for pixel. Or um, in this particular workflow, we have HDR. So the combination of the new version of Final Cut Pro and this Pro Display lets me grade all of these images up to 1,000 nits and even beyond. So if I look at my scopes here, I'm at 1,000, up to 1,500, 1,600 nits in some parts of this image. Holy. And you can see how it holds up, like the brightness <laughs> of the hair on the back of that zebra. Right. You know, that would be blown out on a non-HDR display. Yeah. Here, you get all the detail and the individual strands of hair. I mean, it's... Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. It's amazing. That, I don't, yeah, my eyes aren't used to looking at scopes <laughs> that go that high. Exactly. <laughs> You're used to maybe something about half that. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, that's uh, that's what this enables. It's a really, it's a it's a huge step forward. Was there pricing on the afterburner yet, or not yet? Uh, that's a good question. It should be uh, it should be on the website. Okay. Uh, pricing was announced, obviously, for the, the Mac, Mac Pro, Pro starting at fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Pro Display XDR forty nine ninety nine, and then stand. Right. And do a base amount or for the stands that we have here for nine. Right. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. I'm excited. I'm hyped. <laughs> so I was gonna cut that short, but we gotta thanks Judd for the look at that. Uh, yeah, if you guys got questions on the uh, on that video, let me know. Man, I just keep walking into people. There's Rene Ritchie. Go watch his stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this up for a bit. More detailed, polished uh, Mac Pro video is coming later. If you guys have any questions, things you guys want to see covered on that, drop them in the comments below, and I uh, will see you guys later.